but others are thinking about you as none of your business now let's discuss about the plant growth and development and the first topic is plant growth regulator it is divided into two types that is the plant growth promoter and plant growth inhibitor uh, now from where plant uh, hormones uh, we started like when darwin was doing experiment with his son uh, francis darwin they uh, seen that the coleoptile of uh, canary grass uh, responded to the unilateral light and after fw went did his uh, avina curvature experiment and extracted oxygen and said that uh, and all other about the phototropism so then come to the oxygen that is first time it was extracted from the human urine and uh, two oxygens like indole acetic acid and indole butyric acid is natural oxygen and two that is naphthalene acetic acid and 2,4-D is uh, artificially synthesized 2,4-D is used to kill the weeds weeds are generally the unwanted plant dicot plants and uh, oxygen helps in many function uh, has many function that it helps to initiate rooting in the uh, stem cutting then uh, it helps in uh, to set flowering in the pineapple and uh, xylem in xylem differentiation and it uh, uh, that is apical dominance is due to oxygen then next hormone is the gibralic acid and uh, gibralic acid was first uh, seen in the 1926 when uh, from the foolish seedling and uh, by the that is e kurosawa uh, and the fungus was gibrella fujikurai and that was a rice plant and in rice seeds there was no seedlings and from there it was discovered then uh, we have more than 100 types of gibralic acid and like gibralic acid 1 2 and 3 gibralic acid 3 is the first discovered gibralic acid and most extensively studied so what is the Uh, it helps in the internode elongation so it uh, helps we use it to elongate like uh, grapes to increase its stalk length and uh, it delays and it helps to increase uh, apple shape and size then uh, it fastens malting process that's why it is used in brewing industry also and uh, if we will supply the sugar cane with gibralic acid then the yield will increase 20 tons per acre and if we will supply gibralic acid to the juvenile conifers then it helps in uh, earlier maturance of uh, conifers then it also helps in the bolting process that is the internode elongation just before flowering like in beet cabbage and in other plants having the rosewood habitat then next plant growth uh, promoter hormone is the cytokine and it is uh, adenine derivative that is the n6 furfuryl uh, purine and uh, in uh, cytokinin was discovered in like 90 uh, 1955 when f skook and his co-workers were doing experiment then it was uh, discovered and uh, one that is from first that is kinetin it was uh, isolated from the herring sperm dna and it was not natural then later natural were also was also discovered and uh, it helps in uh, it promote new roots uh, so uh, new leaves then chloroplast and leaves and uh, Uh, helps in mineral mobilization then uh, helps to overcome apical dominance and uh, uh, it is found in on those parts where rapid cell el- cell division is needed and uh, these are the some important points but about the plant growth promoter then next plant growth inhibitor it include two hormones that is the abscisic acid and ethylene first about the abscisic acid and it is the derivative of uh, carotenoids and 
it is also also called the stress hormone because it is uh, released during the stress and helps in uh, survival like if there is very high temperature then it uh, abscisic acid stops the opening of a stomata so that the uh, water loss can be minimized and these are the and uh, it also promote a uh, seed dormancy then next hormone is the ethylene and it's a gas and it was discovered like and uh, uh, fcc case it was in discovered in 1960 uh, and three scientist has discovered like uh, fcc second dormin and uh, inhibitor b and uh, after that uh, we came to know that the chemical nature of these three are same then ethylene and it was discovered um just wait and it was discovered in 1910 when ajaz cousins were doing experiment and they seen that something uh, volatile substances uh, comes out from the orange ripened orange and due to this the banana uh, ripened very earlier and, uh, and this is how it was discovered and it's not that it is a plant inhibitory hormone then it will always inhibit functions so it all it helps in the Uh, horizontal growth of the seedling then excess uh, swelling of the excess then uh, internodal like uh, um, internodal growth helps in the apical hook formation in the dicot or uh, dicot plants and uh, our root then it helps to break bud and seed dormancy then it initiate or the seed germination of the peanut seeds then uh, it helps in the internodal elongation of the rice deep water rice rice plants then it helps leaves and the upper part of the stem uh, stay above the water then other functions like uh, it helps in the senescence uh, and of the fruit and leaves and uh, it helps in initiating and synchronizing food set in pineapple it helps promoting flower in mango then in cucumber it promote female flower that's why the yield increases and that because it's widely used hormone so one of its sources ethifon it has 80% approximately ethane and 20% co2 it is in liquid form that's why it is absorbed by the plant and uh, slowly it releases ethylene then some other processes like about the photoperiodism and it is sensed by the leaves then vernalization like it is uh, if any plant is a biennial and if we will treat it with the and low and it needs low temperature for its germination so it can be done by using gibralic acid or we can or artificially we can uh, keep it into the fridge provide low temperature it will germinate and then uh, uh, our space will free more then uh, heterophily what is heterophily that uh, in different uh, uh, conditions they show like uh, coriander cotton and larkspur uh, when they are juvenile their leaves are of uh, different shape and when they mature uh, they are of different shape and then uh, that is buttercup uh, when they are a uh, grow in air or in land or in water their leaves are of different shape it's called plasticity and growth rate can be measured in times of like a dry weight um volume and plant height and the plant, uh, term of protoplasm but it can be measured directly so two types of there one is the absolute growth and uh, second is other then come to the that is the we will study just a few points about the gymnosperm so gymnosperm like most of the about uh, similar about uh, it is most in characteristic similar with the angiosperm but there is difference also gymna means naked seeds there is no uh, fruit or the seeds are not covered by the ovary anymore and uh, they are mostly um, mid uh, size trees or tall trees or uh, they are 
and uh, the mo- longest tree or the that is the redwood tree that is sequoia redwood tree and uh, mostly heterosporous uh, female and uh, male gamy uh, and cycas that is uh, pinnate leaf exist uh, for few years cycas is unbranched but pinus and cedrus are branched and uh, their leaves are uh, adapted to for high temperature humidity and any other stress condition so in this the gametophytic phase is very reduced and uh, uh, there is no existence of a free and there is no free existence of gametophytic uh, phytic plant uh, plant it is totally depend on the sporophyte and uh, just a few cells are there examples of the gymnosperm are like uh, cycas pinus and zincoco then if we will see some of the points that uh, th- uh, there is a male and female strobili sometimes it grow in same pa- plant and sometimes on different plant in gym uh, and pinus it grows on the male and female strobili grows on the same part and uh, there is a shoot like dwarf shoot and long shoot and the in zincoco and uh, the f- that is seed is naked sporo uh, sporophytic plant body has a sporophyte has a sporangia and it has a spore then spore do uh, meiosis and it produces the gamete and gamete is totally dependent on the sporic plant uh, uh, male gamete or micro sporangiate female gamete or mega spore uh, mega mega spore uh, what is micro sporangiate and mega sporangiate that is uh, just wait so that's all thanks for watching